a big game. What do you think? What do you mean, what do I think? The score's going to be 80, <laughs> 83 to 6. I called it. I put my prediction out there a long time ago. Okay. I had a dream. I saw it. And how many to that? So how many touchdowns then for Nick Foles then out of that? Nick 83? Foles going to throw for thirty-two touchdowns. <laughs> <laughs> thirty-two. I'm trying to do the math in my head right now. <laughs> thirty-two touchdowns. Yeah, that is. We're, we're, we just put I, your. I didn't want to show up. eighty-three to six. Yeah, I didn't want to show if my math was good or bad, and that's so why I just threw a number out there. I think I may. I'm I like in the it. ballpark. No, I think yeah, I yeah. think you are. You know, give give, give or take a give, dozen. Give or take a <laughs> off by 10, yeah. 12, 15 maybe. They just did the math uh, in the truck because I'm. More verbal than math. Okay. I, I'm t- 224 points. Yeah, yeah, that's, so, that's what it was. So three times the amount. You but know, I'm, assuming they don't go for two each see. time. You know, it's ah, it, I know what I did. Those are just extra points. We're yeah. assuming they all the extra points. I know made, I Kevin. messed up. I didn't carry. That's why yeah, I messed you didn't up. Carry, yeah. <laughs> you didn't carry the two, <laughs> Kevin Hart here on the Rich Eisen show. Okay, so um, where 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 I guess. Does your allegiance lie, I guess, on all the Philadelphia teams? You put the Eagles up there, sick, where you throw the Sixers and in this mix, too? all of the Philadelphia teams. All right, well, I understand we're, we're a city that's desperate for uh, something to hold on to, mm-hmm. you know, and, and boast about right now. And I think for the first time in a long time, the, the Eagles and the Sixers actually are conversation pieces, you know, where – where we feel good about talking about both teams. Yes. You know, I mean, the Flyers have always had their moments. The Phillies have always had their moments. You know, they've been good programs. But the Eagles and the Sixers, we've just struggled, you know, mm-hmm. and that's been tough. So to finally, finally have these things going at the same time right. and to talk about the fact that, oh, my God, the Eagles are in the Super Bowl. Yeah. Oh, my goodness, the Sixers are going to make the playoffs. It's a different conversation for me now. So, so right. with that being said, man, you know, I'm I'm much more of a basketball fan well, than sure. I'm a football fan. Well, we've seen you play, too. Yeah, well, I'm a four-time celebrity game MVP. <laughs> but that, it's not about that. I don't want to make it about my talent and the fact no, that well, I— No, we can for a second, well, though. Well, look, just understand this. I chose comedy. Basketball chose me. Okay? <laughs> um, yes. You know, I could have easily went down that road. You Listen, know? if basketball is going to tap you on your shoulder, you've got, you, you got you to answer, you, you answer you got to turn call. around. And just understand, I never turned all the way around. I just gave a glance back. Right. That's the only reason why I never really pursued it. But I, I could have played Division Three basketball easily. <laughs> uh, but I chose not to, you know. Sure. Uh, look, it's it's all a choice. Um, one-on-one you yeah. versus Terrell Owens. How does that work? Oh, my goodness. Uh, you got to say no backing down. If he's not going to back me down, I beat him. But if he chooses to back me down, he'll win. So, but w- off the dribble? Yeah, you got to go. There's no, no but, face up basketball. You, but you off the dribble. Yes, 100%. You've got, you've got him. 100%. It's not even a question. He has no lateral movement. I play with Terrell. A no. lot. He's no lateral movement. Mm-hmm. It's all fast. It's all forward speed. Mm-hmm. You get him going side to side, he gets clumsy. Mm. You know, he's he's very, He. I think if you asked him, he's just as good a basketball player as he's a football player. Yeah, that's because you're asking him. You got to ask somebody that's seen him play. <laughs> seen him play. Mm. He's a good basketball player, but... You, can, you know, I'm not going to say he's just as good. He's an athlete. Mm-hmm. But what am I? You know, whenever you think athlete, mm-hmm. think what comes after that. That's what I am. I'm I'm something that they don't even have a word for. You're a hyphenate. Yeah. You get it. I get it. You get it. You're a hyphenate. And I, but here's the thing. I don't want to be this guy. I just want to <laughs> tell jokes. I, some days I get up. <laughs> some days I get up and I'm like, God, yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to go and... Be a runner and run a marathon again. Yeah, you know, I don't no. want to. Oh, uh, somebody threw a football. I caught it it's with one hand. Burden. Like it's those a... things frustrate me because it's like, should I play professional sports now, mm-hmm. or should I just keep telling jokes? I don't know, man. Mm-hmm. It's such a such a thing. The Rich Eisen Show weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience. <laughs> 